Hey, 49ers fans, I'm Thomas Mont. Welcome to Chat Sports, and today we have a fresh San Francisco 49ers news and rumors video. One more until the weekend, one more until we wait for Monday night when, of course, the Cleveland Browns come into town to take on our 4 or 3 0, hopefully soon. 4-0 49ers. Okay, let's jump right into the news and rumors. First up, a rumor. This one has been circulating a lot the past couple of days about Emmanuel Sanders, the Broncos wide receiver. So, let me just lay the groundwork here. Emmanuel Sanders is frustrated about being in Denver because they're 0-4, because Joe Flacco is not that good, because the offense doesn't score a lot of points. There are a lot of reasons why he could be upset for what is happening in Denver, and rumors are starting to kind of go that, you know, he's trying to get traded from the Denver Broncos. Now, We've talked a lot about the San Francisco 49ers wide receivers and how I've said you could add another good one in, into the mix. I would be totally okay with that. But this rumor was actually really confirmed and given legs by Benjamin Albright, who's an NFL reporter. He has tons of followers on Twitter. He's verified. He actually was. Remember like three weeks ago, whenever I broke the news that the Niners had attempted to trade for Jalen Ramsey, he was the one to confirm my report. People were all tweeting like, oh, what does Thomas Mott know? And Albright was like, Ah, he, he was right. They did make a call. So we like Benjamin Albright here uh, adding the 49ers news and rumors video. But we'll see what happens with Emmanuel Sanders because Albright said he's putting his money on the 49ers to make this move. Listen, I would not put it past the 49ers to do a deal like this. Not saying anything's in the works. Not saying I've heard that they've called. But I would be okay because I don't see a massive, massive haul needing to be given up for Emmanuel Sanders. I think you could do it for a mid-round draft pick. A third through a sixth round draft pick could probably do the trick, maybe throw in a player. I don't know who that would be, but you can see how you could sweeten the deal for a guy who just wants out of Denver. Now, he is coming off of a, of a major, I believe it was a knee injury this past season. It could have been an Achilles. It was a bad injury. So he looks good this year. The stats aren't bad as you guys have been seeing across your screen. I would be all for this, especially with what we've seen from Dante Pettis and Marquis Goodwin. Now, I have said also, I thought the wide receivers have played better in recent weeks, and I think that Dante Pettis is on the upswing. But at the same time, I would be totally fine with adding another wide receiver, one as good as Emmanuel Sanders. Probably could come in right away and be the number one receiver on this football team, especially with where we are at right now, sitting at 3-0. So, let's keep an eye on this. I wanted to put that on your guys' radar. A lot of people are tweeting me, asking me if this is true, if it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen, but you have my seal of approval as long as it's not you know, a first or a second, which it won't be, I'd be all for going out and trading for Emmanuel Sanders. Would you guys do it? Let me know. Comment section down below. Would you trade for Emmanuel Sanders? Again, I don't see why you wouldn't if it was for like a fourth or a fifth round draft pick. To me, he's worth it, especially for this year. Okay, some news going on here. The Niners have added a quarter, a cornerback, and no, it's not Jalen Ramsey or any big name cornerbacks. They actually went out and signed Tease Tabor. And you go, Tease Tabor, hmm. I recognize that name. What's going on here? So, T. Tabor actually was a second round draft pick of the Detroit Lions back in 2017, but was distracted by money. He like wrote or wrote about it or talked about it in an interview saying that, you know, he gets like a $4 million signing bonus when he's drafted. He gets a good salary and he starts spending it on money and cars and all sorts of, you know, earthly riches and stuff like that. And so he kind of ran out of money, got a little bit fat. That's, what, that's, that's his own words, not mine. Got, got a little bit overweight and then basically was cut from the uh, Detroit Lions this past year because he was unable to stay healthy, was really unable to stay on the field during training camp. Well, apparently he's been working out. He's trying to get healthy. He's good to go. And the Niners have signed him onto their practice squad right now with hopefully, possibly, the intention of bringing him up to the starting um, rotation. As I think I'm in baseball terms right now because, of course, the wildcard stuff's going on. Uh, is getting into the starting lineup there, potentially because of the Akello Weatherspoon injury. Now, they're not really decided on who's going to be that second cornerback. I believe that they're not that high on Barrett right now. They're still trying to ease Barrett back from the injury. So, the guy they went with a little bit last week, you could back him up with Tease Taper if you needed to. This is not a fix by any means at the cornerback position. It's a practice squad addition that, you know, maybe he could blossom into what the, his talent was back when he was at Florida because he was really, really good at Florida. Probably the best cornerback in the SEC during his time. Okay, other news here. This one's kind of interesting. Are the 49ers Super Bowl favorites, I ask you here? And you're wondering, like, okay, why are we talking about this right now? We're only four weeks in. Well, the Niners, of course, are one of three undefeated teams. And ESPN's uh, Football Power Index, their FPI, announced their top 10 most likely Super Bowl matchups. And they have, you know, all sorts of Chiefs versus Patriots and Chiefs versus Rams and Saints and all that kind of stuff. So they actually had the Niners as two of the potential top 10 potential Super Bowl teams 
of this list for the top 10 matchups. They were matched them up once against the uh, Patriots, so Garoppolo versus Brady, and they had them once matched up a 7% chance between Chiefs and 49ers. So the FPI, the Football Power Index, all those little nerdy guys over at ESPN, I think the Niners have a shot to make the Super Bowl. Here, I just, you know, let you guys know, you know, try and hype up the little train here, use my little fan to pump the fire up just a little bit. So we'll see. Guys, it's early. A lot of people are asking me, you know, what do we think about, the, you know, the playoffs and stuff like that. We need to win against the Cleveland Browns. The Browns coming into town are a dangerous and good football team. They match up very, very well against the 49ers. They got to go out, you know, beat. I think beating uh, Cleveland could really help them out in terms of national respect as well. Question, what's your confidence level in the 49ers playoff chances right now? Where are you at? You guys guaranteeing a playoff spot? Are you feeling pretty good? Are you a little nervous? Let me know what you guys think down below. Also, quickly here, 49ers bet DSI promo code. We talked about this last week. We have the new promo code going with our friends over at bet DSI. So what you can do, go to chatsports.com forward slash bet. You can put your deposit bonus down and use the promo code 49ers. That's it. You see it somewhere on your screen right now. 49ers gets you a 120% deposit bonus. So if you put hundred bucks down, do the math. That's $220 to bet on whatever you want. We've said it before, you know, make some bets on the Niners to uh, possibly beat Cleveland. Can make you a lot of money. We'll see. But go ahead, use the promo code. I'm helping you guys out. Bet the aside is fantastic. 49ers, use it. Go. Okay, keep, let's keep going here quickly. I want to update you on the Browns wide receiver situation that is happening right now, potentially for Monday, and that is that Jarvis Landry continues to be in the concussion protocol. It is unclear if he is going to actually play on Monday. Now, in conjunction to this, Antonio Callaway, their wide receiver, returns from a four-game suspension. So if they don't have Landry, they do have Callaway, who is a deep threat, who is a very, very good young wide receiver. And, of course, the Niners are still without Akella Witherspoon dealing with the uh, lower leg injury. So, with all that being said, will we see Jarvis on Monday? It's still unclear, like I said. But because it's Monday, not Sunday, I think it gives him a lot better chance to potentially play but I would be very curious to see what the Browns attack looks like without Jarvis because in my opinion, at least so far this year from watching and studying up on Cleveland, Baker likes Landry a little bit more. He trusts Landry a little bit more, I should say. Has not thrown as much to Odo Beckham Jr., which is technically good because you don't want Odo to have to have the ball in his hands. But if there is no Jarvis, that means Odell could be getting more and more targets, meaning, you know, against this, whether it's Jason Verrett or whoever it is on the other side of the field could be getting targeted a lot by OBJ. But we'll see in terms of if Landry plays or not. As of right now, depending on when you watch the video, he's still in concussion protocol. Okay, which player on the Browns scares you guys the most? Let me know in the comments section down below. They have a lot of talent. You know, when people talked about it preseason, they're a good football team, even though they sit at 2 and two. Okay, to wrap it all up, I always do a preview here on the final 49ers news and rumors video as we get ready for Monday because I won't be back on here until after the game when I do my grading video. So, you know, just so you guys know, it is the Browns coming into town. I, I said this wrong on the last video, and there were like 80 comments saying, oh, Mont, what are you doing? You know, we're not at Cleveland. We're at uh, the 49ers. Yes, yes, I know. I, I, I figured it out. A little, you know, misreading there. It is the Browns going to Levi Stadium to take on the 49ers Monday night at 8.20 p.m. Eastern Time kickoff. You can watch it on ESPN. Niners right now are three and a half point favorites. The over-under is 47 and a half. Three and a half point favorites makes a lot of sense. Listen, Cleveland's win last week in Baltimore against what many people consider to be the third best team in the AFC was very, very impressive. Baker Mayfield looked good. The question will be, you know, is Nick Chubb going to ball out like he did last week? My three big matchups, my three big things to look at here is Justin School against these pass rushers of Miles Garrett and Olivier Vernon. Listen, Justin School was very, very good last week for what he is on the field, and that is a fifth, six, whatever it is, round draft pick. And he's a rookie starting out at left tackle. I mean, it's scary. I think they need to help out, leave in a tight end, chip with the running backs because Miles Garrett, Olivier Vernon can wreck football games and really get after the quarterback. The rest of the offensive line's been fantastic. My big matchup, number one, Justin School, the rookie, versus Garrett and Vernon. Next thing here, we already talked about it, the 49ers secondary versus Odell Beckham Jr., Antonio Callaway, and maybe Jarvis Landry. Now, the secondary's been better than in the past couple of weeks, but still, without Witherspoon, it's going to be a big question mark if the Browns try and keep putting Odell opposite of Richard Sherman and making him expose whoever is in front of him. I really want to see the secondary stand up and not get carved uh, not get carved up by Baker Mayfield. And finally here, how about the Browns 21st ranked run defense versus the 49ers run offense, which is top five. I think it's number three in the league right now. 
our rushing attack is scary good, and Tevin Coleman's going to be back for this one as well. So how well are we able to run the football, keep the hands out of Baker Mayfield, uh, potentially Jarvis Landry, and the Odell Beckham offense? Those are my three big keys to kind of key in for what we could see on Monday night, Browns versus 49ers. Okay, quickly. We are going to be doing a mailbag video tomorrow. I've compiled all of the questions, so we'll get that up on the channel. So if you've asked a question using the hashtag 49ers on our most recent videos, you guys will most likely be answered. we got a lot of them, so we have a lot of good stuff coming up tomorrow. Uh, and also quickly, actually, I forgot, score prediction for Monday Night Football. What do you think? It needs to be high scoring. I'm going to go 30... 31-24 49ers is what I'm going to go right now. High scoring. I think we go to 4-0. Big statement win up there at Levi Stadium in front of a national audience. Anyway, quickly though, like I said, be sure to subscribe to our Chat Sports YouTube channel. Let me just pause really, really quickly. Everyone who's watching it here on the 49ers only YouTube channel, thank you. I have to give you guys a huge shout out. We started it with zero subscribers a couple of months ago and suddenly have like 2,100 subscribers. You guys are subscribing at record rates right now. It's been fantastic. We're getting a lot of views on these videos, a lot of comments. You guys are loving what we're, produ what we're producing. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed over there, go to our 49ers Chat Sports YouTube channel. If you're watching this on the Chat Sports channel, just go up to the, the YouTube search bar, search Chat Sports 49ers, and then click on the one with Kyle Shanahan's head, our excellent head coach, and then subscribe there. But I just want to thank you guys because we're really doing well here on this channel. I love producing the content for you guys, and the more people that subscribe, more, more people that watch, the more we continue to make here, and we're going to continue to grow the D49ers YouTube channel. So I want to finish up by saying thank you. Let's go 49ers on Monday against the Cleveland Browns. 4-0. I feel good. I don't know. I feel good. All right, all the time we have for today on our Chat Sports uh, 49ers YouTube and our 49ers News and Rumors video for Chat Sports. I'm Thomas Mott signing off. Mailbag tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day.